Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some chocolate bars from Seattle Chocolate. We have the peanut butter pretzel, Pike Place Espresso, um, apple pie a la mode, and pumpkin spice chai. These were $4.99 each at uh, World Market, and we have reviewed uh, Seattle Chocolate in the past. So if you're curious, you can type in Tammy Dunn, Seattle chocolate, and it will come up with whatever we've reviewed. Uh, probably some of them we have reviewed with other things. So if you're looking at the thumbnail and you're like, where is it? It's probably in there somewhere. Uh, you just can't, don't see it clearly in the, the thumbnail. Uh, but this is the peanut butter pretzel bar. It is dark and white chocolate. You just can't see it, it's mixed in. <laughs> say, huh? uh, Seattlechocolate.com. Oh, I see. The white chocolate's on the inside. It says there's two servings. Half the bar is 190 calories. They're made in Seattle. Uh, your Seattle chocolate's made in Seattle, Washington. Never that or you never that. No. There's not, there's not a lot of pretzels that you can see. They're here and there. But the pretzels really add like a little saltiness to it. Mm -hmm. Where you don't get mm -hmm. in the rest of it. I like the texture of this one. I do taste the peanut butter, mm -hmm. and I do like the saltiness. Yeah, the salt, the saltiness is really nice. But like I said, I think you get that from the pretzel. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get a pretzel, you're kind of without. If you, if if you're used to eating, um, just gonna say it. If you're used to eating some bougie peanut butter, then you're gonna like this. The, the natural stuff you have to. Start. If you're <laughs> used to eating, well, just not even that, but just more expensive peanut butter. That's what this tastes like. I like Jeff personally. It, it reminds me of those peanut butter cups that are really expensive peanut butter cups. Choco Love. Those is what are, I'm thinking. What's those other ones? It begins with a, does it begin with a J? The the peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about the ones that have sun butter? No, no. There's an anyway. Justin's. Justin. It kind of reminds me of that flavor. That's the kind of peanut butter flavor it has. To me, yeah. it it reminds me of the Choco Love brand, the the peanut butter flavor, um, because I like those. I like the Choco Love, but it does taste like upscale peanut butter. It doesn't taste like Skippy or Jif or Peter Pan or one of those. Um, so I do I do like the flavor, but there's a very distinct difference yeah. and i'm not saying that one uh, that it's better i'm not saying that just because it's upscale it's better because like i said i i like the jiff and that's what I'll, i always buy is jiff peanut butter because i think it's the best but i would want you to know what you're getting i do think this is really nice it's good and the dark chocolate's not um so bitter and dark that it's like off-putting so it's still a good flavor the, My only problem is it really doesn't have a lot of pretzel. I wish it had like more pretzel in it because uh -huh. I don't think you're going to get pretzel in every single square. You're going to get mainly peanut butter and the salt. Yeah. I don't know that you're going to get salt that much because I think it's in the pretzel. Oh, you think it was in that pretzel? Yeah. Okay, this is called Pike Place Espresso. It is dark, a dark chocolate truffle bar with decaf espresso. So it says uh, two servings, half a bar is 180 calories. Definitely dark chocolate. And you get the little crunchy coffee beans in there, which I don't like. I d I don't feel like you got hardly any. You got enough to where I don't like it. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's enough little crunchy pieces in there. See, I don't, I don't like feel that, that way texture. at all. Uh, I don't like that hard shell kind of texture. But I, heard, I almost got like hardly any. Oh, I got like four or five of them. So. Oh, no, I didn't get that. Um, and they're just tiny little pieces. The flavor is okay, though. It's not a really like bitter coffee flavor or anything. And the, and the chocolate's not. Nice. I love the flavor. I think it tastes... Um, it... it does taste rich and bold. Mm -hmm. It's very bold, yeah. but it's not. You do get not, a little bitterness afterwards. It's not. It still isn't as bold as a Starbucks. No. Um, just a Starbucks black coffee, uh, I, and it, it does have a little bit of sweetness to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I it, love the snappiness of a, it. It's not a bad candy bar. It, it does have a. 
Uh, this is the candy, the, this dark chocolate at least has that kind of oily chocolate feel mm -hmm. to where it's not a creamy, milky chocolate. It's a, it's a, more of an oily chocolate. I don't, no, this is not, neither one of these have been creamy. Of course, it's dark chocolate. Maybe that makes the difference because they don't put the milk in the, for the cream and dark chocolate. Yeah, neither one of these have been what I would consider creamy, but um, I, I really, I do like both of them. Um, <laughs> This one is called Apple Pie a la Mode. Cool. It is dark and white chocolate bar with spiced apples. And it's 190 calories for half a bar. It is a fill of the bar. Hmm. There's chewy apples. Mm -hmm. That's what those little pieces are. Mm -hmm. Those little apple pieces. They're very chewy though. Now see, that's more of a creamy texture because of that filling. Mm -hmm. The chocolate itself, I still don't think it's very creamy, but the, the middle part is kind of creamy. I'm surprised to say that's my favorite so far. I really love that apple and it has some cinnamon. Mm -hmm. but you the, get a little salt from it too. You do. You get salt. Yeah. You get a, It's kind of the, an odd thing to have with apple pie, but. But the chocolate, the chocolate is a. It, this is very creamy. Mm -hmm. Um, it kind of melts nicely. The only thing that will might throw you off if you're funny about textures is those apples are chewy in there. Yeah, you're left with these little apple chunks floating around mm -hmm. in your mouth. <laughs> so like I have one right now. I didn't get kind any, of stuck in my teeth. I didn't get any stuck, but it um, did float around a little bit after I'd eaten it. Like, yeah. Huh, I don't know if I, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It is kind of like, um, it gets in the way of the creaminess of the chocolate. It does. So I would love to have this exact same bar with no apples. I wonder if you would if you would get that apple flavor if you didn't have the apples. No, I don't think you'd get the apple, but you would still get the nice cinnamon. chocolate with the cinnamon. Yeah. So I would I like, like the apple part. Though. I like the apple part. It doesn't bother me, but it does get away in the way of just having that creamy, yeah. um, luxurious it, experience. It'd be nice if they'd use some kind of apple butter or some kind of apple like right. jam or something like that instead of hunks of apple, and that way you still get the apple flavor, but it wouldn't be that texture. That said, it's still it's very good. I, I still love yeah, it. Yeah, I think that, it's I'm, delicious. Is that that was in milk chocolate? Wasn't it? it no, was, that was in dark chocolate. And, and there's white. The first ingredient is white chocolate. That's in the center though. Um, this one. So none is, of these have milk chocolate. Oh, yeah, here. this one. <laughs> here we go. Um, pumpkin spice chai milk chocolate truffle bar with black tea mm. and fall spices. It's 190 calories for half a bar. Yeah, it this one has um, it's very soft. it has sea salt, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, cardamom, nutmeg, organic black tea, allspice, and the other ones might have had those. I don't think so though. Mm -hmm. You didn't taste them. This one has a dried apple, sea salt, and cinnamon. That's exactly what salt we was picked a little up. Weird. Um, that is a super creamy bar. Like it's very, very, I won't say it's super creamy. It's very soft bar. Like these were kind of snappy. That's a very soft um, melting bar. That texture is te has a it's five, very nice. five out of five. It's very similar to this. If you were to take the dark chocolate on the outside and you get that creamy inside, that's the kind of texture you get from that. That texture is the best one here for me. Mm -hmm. Texture-wise. It is incredible. And I do really like the uh the pumpkin mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a nice spice and you do get that um that little bit of a the tea the 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 chai part uh you do get some of that so it makes it different than just a pumpkin spice yeah yeah there's a little kick to it a little edge to it or something mm -hmm. yeah it, it's it's, nice. it's almost um tastes a little leaves you with a little bit of an earthy flavor yeah i agree um but it's not uh it's not bad because it does it's not like have... mushroom dirty young uh, murphy it's no just... but it does have the cinnamon and the nutmeg mm -hmm. and the other flavors coming in too yeah, which, I like that. which brings it up that's I, my number two that's my number oh gosh it's my number two because i would rather have the flavor of the apple for me apple pie all the mud is my number one yeah. my number two will be this one because yeah. i truly adore <laughs> the creaminess of it mm -hmm. but my number three is going to be different than yours because i am going to pick that truffle bar this one yes the espresso oh yeah and i would pick the peanut butter 
And the peanut butter will be last. I do like the peanut butter. There's nothing wrong with the peanut butter. I just want you to know it's not your regular run-of-the-mill peanut right. butter. Yeah. But I do think every single one of these is a very, very nice quality. Mm -hmm. um, very well done. Uh, this is uh, chocolate. I could eat this all the time. Yeah. Now, if they made little bitty bars uh, for Halloween, it would probably be too, probably be a lot more expensive. Oh, yeah. But I wonder if they do. I don't doubt it. I, do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. You don't I, get high end chocolates usually. usually. I know Choco Love is a high end brand, and yeah. I know at Easter they do eggs. Yeah. They do little uh, individually wrapped eggs. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would think be that, curious. Is it Ritter? Ritter Sports? They do the little squares. Yeah, too. oh yeah. Not of, necessarily for Halloween, but just. Yeah, well, uh, that Tony's, Tony's yeah, Choco they Lonely, little, little they, they make them for Halloween. So I just wonder if Seattle Chocolate makes yeah. them for, mm -hmm. if you Maybe. all know, if you've seen a bag, let us know. I'd be very, very curious because they have so many different flavors to choose from. They could have a heck of a, a variety bag. So um, I will have a picture of each one of these for you at the end. And thanks for watching.